Hi, I'm Ben, I like kit bashing, and I wanna talk about it. Before we get into the video, about a week ago, if you're watching this on release day, uh, we launched the Battle Brothers uh, tabletop Discord server. And if you like Kill Team, and you like talking about it, you might like the server. So if you wanna check it out, the link will be in the description. Also, YouTube tells me that about 50%, 54% actually, of you watching these videos are not subscribed. Uh, so, it's just, just a gentle nudge, this just as just as just an option here. If you like Kill Team and you also kind of enjoy these videos, uh, why don't you just think about pressing that subscribe button? You know, let's see, let's see if YouTube is actually accurate. And I will for you, for you guys, uh, next week I'll report back and see if the numbers have changed and see see if YouTube is really telling us the truth. Um, so yeah, it's there. If you want to participate in this very wholesome, very fun social experiment. All right, uh, about a week ago, Ryan from the YouTube channel Command Point, one of the premier Kill Team channels, I would venture to say, uh, put out a great video, a hobby video, which is different from what they normally do, and uh, where he kit bashes and converts an Inquisitor, I think Inqu Inquisitor Tyrus or something like that, from the out of print Games Workshop game Inquisitor. And it's a great video, I have it linked in the description. I watched it, I'm a, I'm a patron on Patreon, so I got to watch it super early, and, uh, and I was loving it and enjoying it, and then I got to the end, and uh, Ryan actually challenged me to participate, and he, he challenged me to do my own kit bash conversion of an Inquisitor for the game Inquisitor. Specifically, I want to also want to issue a challenge to Battle Brothers Tabletop. I know that your kit bashing skills are really, really good. I've seen those Vostroians in person. I love them, and I really want to see what you would be able to come up with for a model for Inquisition or Inquisitor. And you know me, man. I cannot let a hobby challenge go unanswered like that. Let's do it. So, I've never played the game Inquisitor, and I'm not sure that I'll get to playing it anytime soon. But, it touches on everything that I love about Warhammer. I love the gritty and gothic side of 40k, and would really like to see more of that return to the new models that they're releasing. The new Black Templars are a great example of what I would love to see more of. They took Primaris Marines, which in my opinion, can feel a little sterile sometimes, uh, and they transform them into the gothic, brutal, problematic warriors that they truly are. There's no good reason for a space marine to have candles on his backpack, but that's exactly what I love. And Inquisitor is grimdark, gothic, candles on backpack city. I love it. So I'm starting off with the legs slash skirt slash robe situation uh, of a Delac Ganger. I think it's called Delac? De la I don't know, Ganger from Necromunda. I know that I want some power armor in the mix here, and the Grey Knight Space Marine box is so poorly scaled that it actually works really well for human-sized power armor. I'm giving this Inquisitor a plasma pistol because, well, plasma pistols are awesome, and it's my favorite gun in all of 40k, uh, and this one is from the Battle Sister Squad box. I'm also thinking of giving this model a power fist because, again, power fists are awesome, uh, and it's my favorite melee weapon in 40k. Uh, the cool thing, though, is that Plasma Pistol and Power Fist is a legal loadout for, well, a few models in Kill Team, but specifically the Tempester Prime. Uh, and I think I'll be using this model as my leader for my All Scions Kill Team. Before I go any further, though, I'm going to start working on bulking out the robes a little and hiding the joint where the torso and legs meet. I start by cutting out a portion of green stuff, which, by the way, is not as intimidating as you might think, and just mixing it together thoroughly. Green stuff is super tacky and it will stick to your tools and your table and everything in your skin and everything in your life. So I recommend using some type of lubrication like petroleum jelly or I, I just have coconut oil laying around so I use that. If you don't have either one of those things though, water will help. I tear off strips roughly sized to what I want and apply it to the model. With a silicone sculpting tool, I'm following the curves of the model, sculpting some folds and creases. I've never sculpted robes before, so this is a new thing for me. I follow this process all the way around until I'm happy with the profile. Now, I think this is pretty good, and I really like how it bulks out the model a little bit and balances out the power armor on top. Also, don't forget to drill your gun barrels. It's never too late to drill your gun barrels, even after you paint it. It's never too late. Thought I was recording, but I really wasn't. Uh, but I added a Firstborn Space Marine Power Fist um, just with, you know, the plastic cement because Power Fists are, like we talked about, awesome. I'll be using Mark III shoulder pads because they just feel very Inquisitor-y to me. 
Now you can't see it on camera because I'm just a pro at what I do, uh, but I'm chopping off the top of the shoulder pads and then filing them down to fit on the shoulders. After that, I sort of turn them upside down and then glue them in place. Uh, pretty happy with how this came out and I like how the profile is different from a Space Marine. After this, it's just time for some details like purity seals and servo skulls. The purity seals are from the Sisters Repentia box and the servo skull is from the Tempestus Scions box. Now, every hobby session needs a good podcast to keep you company, and this is a new Kill Team podcast called Once Upon a Kill Team. It's hosted by two cool dudes called Jason and Sean, uh, and I've been really loving it. They're both in the Battle Brothers Discord, and they frequent the Kill Team narrative channel because uh, they are big narrative fans, and this podcast is about specifically narrative Kill Team, which is a niche that I feel like does not get talked about enough. So this is a great podcast. I super recommend that you give it a listen. All right, time to finish this Inquisitor up. I have decided on a Sisters of Battle head because I really like how it makes the suit of armor feel a little more chunky, a little more bulky. Uh, I tried some Space Marine heads, but just didn't love the scale. I think having a smaller neck and head sticking out makes it seem like this is really a human in a suit of power uh, armor and not just some Space Marine, you know, with a towel around his waist or something. Now I'm filling in the gaps under and around the shoulder pads with green stuff and I'm sculpting it into some quick fur. Uh, I find that fur is a really easy cheat code to fill gaps or cover a mistake, and it seems like something an Inquisitor might have draped on them for decoration. I'm pretty happy here, um, but I think she needs something to really sell the whole Inquisitor thing, so I'm going to give her a servo skull attached to her back. Um, just a few dabs of plastic glue here, plastic cement, and it's all set. With Wilson the servo skull attached, we're going to call this one finished. So, here it is, my kitbashed Inquisitor. Off camera, I added a few more trinkets and purity seals to hide some sculpting mistakes and also to help sell, you know, the whole Inquisitor thing. Big thanks to Ryan at Command Point for issuing me this hobby challenge. I had a great time. It was so much fun to, uh, you know, just build something for fun, and which is a nice break because I tend to fall into this hobby grind where I'm just trying to get things ready and done for the channel. And so this was a really fun break from that. Uh, this hobby is supposed to be fun, isn't it? Um, so again, thank you to Ryan and Command Point. Command Point is, like I said, it's one of the one of the best of all time Kill Team channels, uh, and they are packed with tons and tons of value. If you want to get good, Command Point is one of the channels that you need to be subscribed to and paying attention to because, man, they've been doing it for a while and they're good at it. So uh, thank you to you guys, and it was just a ton of fun. I've been wanting to do more hobby stuff, so this, this style of video was new for me, and I was really excited to try it out. There's a few janky moments. Um, I don't quite have a great, you know, top-down, tabletop camera situation set up right now, but I'll get to working on it, so thanks for, thanks for bearing with me here. Man, I had a ton of fun on this project, and I want to share the love a little bit and give the gift that keeps on giving, and I want to challenge my buddy Russ at GFN Gaming. Russ, I want to challenge you uh, to kitbash your own Inquisitor. Uh, if you don't know uh, GFN Gaming, Russ is doing things that really nobody else is doing in the Battle Report world, and they're just so uh, top-notch and mint and such good quality and really entertaining. So uh, long before I even had you know a YouTube channel here, uh, I've been a fan of Russ's content. And before we started chatting, I even I, you know I've been a big fan of his his kit bashes and his conversions. So Russ, I challenge you uh, to kit bash and convert your own Inquisitor model. I know you're gonna make me look like a chump and just make me look like a total loser, but I challenge you anyways. I know that you're going to come up with something insane. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Let me know what you think of my Inquisitor model uh, down in the comment section below. Don't forget to check out Command Point. Uh, Shane and Ryan are doing awesome things over there. Don't forget to check out Russ at GFN, who's doing amazing things as well. Uh, and that's going to do it. So thank you for liking and commenting and subscribing and being so nice and cool over the internet. Uh, you can find me on Instagram at Battle Brothers Tabletop. You can find me in the Battle Brothers Tabletop Discord server. Uh, and uh, all are welcome. As long as you are cool and nice, you are welcome to come hang out with us. It's a chill place where we talk about Kill Team and uh, you know hang out and have a good time. So that's going to do it. I have been Ben. Thank you so much, and uh, I'll see you around.